Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It is Sunday, March 26th, just a little before noon in the Bay Area. And today I want to do a quick read on the Bill HR5 that just passed uh, Congress, uh, which is the uh, termed the Parental Bill of Rights. Um, it did pass Congress. Five Republicans uh, sided with Democrats in saying, uh, no, they didn't want this to pass, uh, but it still made it through. Chuck Schumer basically said, this thing's dead on arrival. We're not bringing it up on the Senate. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe they should get people to, uh, to debate that and put it to a vote and get people's votes on record with it. But um, uh, even if it were somehow to go onto the Senate floor, which Chuck Schumer said it won't, uh, and even if it were to pass, Biden would veto it. I, I don't see how this, this ever gets through. But what I want to know is, what was the reason for the GOP and the sponsors to bring this bill up in the first place? I mean, they, they can do the political math. They know this thing is dead on arrival, so why did they do it? So let's see if Spirit can give us a little bit of guidance as to the backstory on oh, what's going on. Okay. So we start off with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I was going to do a four carter on this. Do I want to do a six carter? Um, yes, do a six carter, uh, a seven carter versus uh, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so um, it's being framed as, you know, protecting the children. You know, it's, it's the mom and or the grandma and the baby type thing. It's being framed as that, but really it's messaging to people who are very passionate about things. So you can, if you wanted a pair of cards that says, here's some red meat for your base, and we're going to frame it around protecting the children, that's how you would get it to look like, at least with my interpretations of the cards. Okay, so they're trying to frame this as they, they care about families and... Uh, they care about kids, and here's our way of, of protecting this. That's what this bill's framed to do. So in the past, it's temperance. Um, they've been biding their time um, uh, with this. They want to incorporate this into our everyday lives. And right now, they think the timing is right to introduce that legislation, probably because, you know, they're in charge of the House, and during... The campaign they basically said that they were going to um they were going to do this now you can look at the this is like integration now you can think of uh the opposite which is segregation and who are they segregating against you know the uh you can all you have to do to find out who this bill is targeting is ask the opposite side because they'll tell you all the downsides of it and in this case uh it's again it's going to be the lgbtq community it's going to be uh, marginalized groups who are going to be impacted by this. So who's passing it? White Christians. That's, that's who's passing this, which means that it's going to be advantageous for white Christians, and it's going to be disadvantageous for everybody who's not a white Christian. Sorry, that's just the way that it's getting set up. Okay. Current situation, Page of Pentacles. So they've got this great new idea and they're bringing it forward like an offering to uh, to the people that, that, <laughs> that they want. And you know what they want back? So far, we've got two Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. You're probably going to find out that this is going to be yet another fundraising activity that has been guised as uh, legislation to protect the family. Current situation overarching energy and this is part of the plan this is they've been planning this and now they're revealing the plan and they're going forward with their plan which is and even i think kevin mccarthy said something like this like you know we promised this during our campaigns and we're now delivering this is the the card of delivering on the plans for what they hope is going to be the next stage which is going to be uh them taking over the entire government okay so this is not a mistake. This is part of the plan. This is the overall plan. And the lesson to be learned, or that is the magician, 
they're trying to manifest this, but it's also the lower energy of the magician is illusion. And if, now taking a step back, from a spiritual sense, this is a, a horrible thing because it's going to hurt people. It's going to hurt, it's going to hurt the LGBTQ community. They are a marginalized group. Are they the majority? No, they're not. But the whole point of the majority is to protect the rights of the minority so that the majority just doesn't steamroll them with stuff. And this is going to be steamrolling people, basically. It's forcing your views onto other people. And we're not talking uh, views of, you know, we're forcing uh, homosexuality or accepting gay people on those. They're people. They're allowed to live. They're allowed to pursue their, their rights for uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And you you have no right to prevent them from doing that. Um, we're not try nobody's trying to force the gay lifestyle on anybody. They're just saying let these people who are gay, who are lesbians, who are anybody who's got that alternative lifestyle, let them be them. Let them do what they want to do. They're not hurting you. Leave them alone. So the illusion, so that's, so basically they're, they're trying to perpetuate the illusion. That's where I'm going with that is they're trying to perpetuate an illusion. This, this isn't about manifesting something great. This is low energy stuff, which means that this is a low energy card. This isn't bringing forward something great, like equality for everyone. This is the illusion of, you know, here's a threat. Here's somebody to punch down on, punch away. Outcome. The lover's card. <laughs> you know, just the thing they don't want, right? Um, now, what does it mean in this case? Uh, you know, lovers, you could say it's, it's an agreement between people. It's an understanding. It's a coming together. Um, I don't think that this, this, is, this isn't going to work out the way they want it to work out. Okay? So the lovers isn't necessarily for the people that brought up this bill. Because this bill, uh, it, it doesn't bring people together. It's not bringing us together as society. It's further splitting us apart. And if there's one message from spirit, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if there's one message from spirit that I picked up from watching a lot of uh, near-death experience videos and such, is that there's um, synchronicity throughout the world. We're all connected. Everything's connected. Everything's interconnected. So if you try to break that connection, you are stepping away from God and God's plan. The whole point is to bring people together. And this is the card of bringing people together. So in some ways, by trying to isolate and marginalize a group of people as a consequence of this bill, you're actually going to bring people to their aid to stand up for them in the fight. And overall, you know, fighting from, um, th and there is the fight in fighting from um, a position of advantage. So right now you can make the argument that the GOP is going to continue to bring forward bills like this because they have the majority in the House. So they have the advantage to keep bringing forward bills like this. Will they pass in the House? Probably. Will they ever see the light of day in the Senate or the presidency? Probably not. So again, this is just this, all this is, is messaging. This is messaging to, uh, to the more extreme members of their base that they said they were gonna try and you know do whatever it was they were going to do to make America great again. And this is their vision, is to find somebody to punch down on. But it's not gonna work because the outcome is the lover's card. Okay. So that's, uh, I don't need to really read more on that one. I was going to, you know, find out about, about the money. It, it, money's always going to be in here. Somewhere in, there's, somewhere in here, there's going to be money because they're going to fundraise off of it, right? That's just what they do. Um, so as far as this bill goes, don't worry about it. It's stressful. Um, but at the same time, uh, it's got no chance of going through. So, you know, take a step back from this one and just shake your head at how small and pathetic these people are and if you if you have the desire send a prayer for them pray for their souls you know <laughs> tell them that you're going to pray for pray to jesus for them that, that ought to drive them nuts 
<laughs> Try not to do it with a smirk on your face. All right. I hope you have a good weekend, and I'll get back to you with the reading soon. Take care. Bye-bye.